below. I'm Nessie. Thank you for clicking on this video if you're interested in downloading Smokeless here may if. But I uploaded a video for a couple of months ago. I haven't uploaded since well the time I posted the video about the EFI partition thing. And I'm also on a new computer. On a non non pre built because my pre built died for some reason because I missed a set with a setting in the BIOS that caused the PC to not boot, though it did start. And resetting the CMOS did not work this time. And I assumed that I heartbricked the PC, so I guess, but the components survived. And I could recycle by just taking out the components and putting them into another PC because they're still usable, they still work. My GPU is not dead. My CPU is fine. But anyway, doesn't matter. I want to address a couple of issues. Issues. That is a video that I uploaded. Sorry, there is a video that on my channel that I updated, uh, uploaded. And it was about how to access the BIOS on pre-builds that have a locked BIOS where you can't uh, access the advanced menus. I would like to make some clarifications. Now, why? Because I want users to have the best experience as possible. Don't mind what I've searched up, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, there we go, there we go, uh, there we go. So, on my channel, we have this video. Oh, hello. Yes, thank you for the likes, by the way. I really appreciate how this worked for so many of you, but there are some people out there that are complaining that the link doesn't work. It does work. It's just get up. It's kind of funny sometimes. Uh, even I am bewildered on how. Even I don't know how to use it sometimes because I'm thinking there should be a download button, but there is a download button. You just need to download the uh, what is it called the file through a different well through different means. Well, it's not really that different. Once I show you, you click on this. This is the newest version. Oh, uh, I'll also give you the... There we go, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Newer version that should show more settings. But as always, a lot of these shouldn't be touched or do that. Or do, or do they not work? Yeah, or they don't work. Should also better support new 740 series APUs. Any issues, let me know. Cool. And I assume that this newer version has some bug fixes because there's a README. But that doesn't matter. Now how do you download this shit? May you ask? Well it's simple. Uh if I know how to bring up the right page. <laughs> there we go. You click on the sorry, you click on this. Yes. You don't click on that. I did that by mistake. See? It says download raw file. There is a download button. So yes, you can download through the link. It's just ha it, it has changed for some weird reason. So you can put it inside of your yeah, the b the BIOS USB thing that you're booting from. But make sure you zip everything into this folder. Sorry, not folder into this USB and then delete the zip file because you don't need it anymore. That's it, you're done. It's not that hard. And before you pe before you yell at me for being rude, um, yes, I'm sorry for having an aggressive tone in advance. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of bewildered how people didn't get it. But once again, I've been in that position myself, so I can't really shift the blame on you guys. It was primarily because of me giving out unclear instructions on how to install this program. And I apologize for it. I would like to address that issue, which already has been addressed. Just now. <laughs> Just now. Other than that, I would also like to say that, once again, be careful with what you're changing in the BIOS. And... Yes, and that's it. The other options in the BIOS, they should work. 
yes, don't touch any options that haven't been explored yet, I suppose. But it depends on what computer you have, but I don't think it's that, of, that big of an issue. The, but, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yes, so. I don't have anything to say, other than the fact that you should format things properly. The format button is right here, FAT32. It says so in the GitHub page as well, in the instructions. You're supposed to use FAT32 and then start the formatting process. And I already formatted it before the video even started. So you don't need to yell at me for not showing that because I already did. Just now. So. Thank you for watching my video, guys, and I hope that all of you in the comment section um, have your concerns raised, or sorry, addressed, and you can finally download the program. If this, if that program, the beta doesn't work, then you could just go into the AMD form, universal AMD form browser. This one from two years ago, which is probably outdated by now. Honestly, surprised that it still worked for me back then, but once again, it was two years ago, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. You, you, you download it in the exactly the same way. Here we go, download raw, raw file. That's it. Don't press this button, press this button. See? Easy. You don't need to overcomplicated if there is no complicated github download utility thing that you need you could just press on the file and then you get it that's it thank you for watching the video again sorry for dragging this on for too long i'm done thank you